What's up, y'all? This is that boy Speed. It's fucking with that BWF. You hear me? Got flute, I can't fuck right, can't fuck right She said right. she, she like it when I'm sober Cause she nut right, she nut right Bella boy, they're goofy, he can't bust right He, can't bust he right. hit his partner in the heat Doing a gunfight Man, that's cool. I be posted on the set, what a thug said What a thug what desire creep and bleeds What a slug said yeah. I'm on Canal, screw a rider, what a love what said a love. Texting the fuck out them tourists in my dick is in me love. Bitch, I been a true I been with that tourist too that bitch Holla too. pick a boo when I pull up, don't cry like a where did you get the name Speed? I mean, I got the name Speed in jail, to be real, you hear me? My little partner, he was like, bitch, you move fast as a motherfucker, bitch, I'm gonna call you Speed, you hear me? So, what really made me took that name serious is when, like, I got down in the blood game in jail, you hear me? And my blood name was gonna be Speed, you hear me? Because everybody went to calling me that before I got down, you see what I'm saying? So, I just took off with the name. <coughs> Twenty nine. Where were you born? New Orleans. What part? I was actually born uptown, you hear me? In the ten wall. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But I was raised in the nine wall, so that's what I claim the nine, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. What was your childhood like? Man, it's like my childhood was crazy. You see what I'm saying? Like like coming up, you know what I'm saying? Nigga really was like jacking. My whole life, you see what I'm saying? Like, if you check my rap sheet, my rap sheet is straight simple burgers. You see what I'm saying? Like, nigga had to get it on their own since young. You see what I'm saying? Like, mama was doing hard, you know what I'm saying? It was hard for her. So it was hard for us. You see what I'm saying? So we had to go get it. You see what I'm saying? To make sure we were street. She had to, you know what I'm saying? Go get it to make sure she was street and to make sure she was in the icebox. You see what I'm saying? But by us, you know, hungry and shit, we eating up shit. So we got to go out there and go get shit because they ain't got no more shit in there. And she ain't buying nothing because we, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so that's what a nigga was doing to get their bread and shit, you know? Are you close to your mom? Yeah. Are you close to your dad? Not really, no. Not really. Was he in your life growing up? Yeah, he was in my life to about 12, you hear me? Well, I moved in, I moved in when about five. I moved out when about twelve and moved my mama, you know what I mean? Yeah. You have children? Yeah, I got a little girl. What is that like? I mean that's father? awesome. It's awesome being a father, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't even thought it was gonna be this awesome, you know? Yeah. Till she came and it's just like beautiful, you know beautiful. what I'm saying? What was it like growing up in the night war? I mean, it was crazy, like you see what I'm saying? If it's like really, that's where all of it started. Like when I moved from by my daddy and moved with moms and went to, you see what I'm saying? Like it was getting on your own from here. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like mom showed a nigga like nigga had to be a man and go get it by himself. You see what I'm saying? When I was with daddy, it was like I was in school and I was young. You see what I'm saying? I was young, you see what I'm saying? Doing my little school work, you know or whatever, because daddy was on my ass or whatever like that, you see what I'm saying? He was kind of hard, you know, and I had finally got in touch with my mama. She was ready to come get me, so I just moved her, and then, you know, she was taking care of a nigga, you know, but when the nigga got older or whatever like that, like 12, 13, I mean, like 13, 14, 15, some shit like that, it started getting real. And when you say real, explain it. Like, you got to go get it, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be a man. You got to go take care of your business, like, you know, was shit like that. Was it been a time where you was almost killed or was you ever shot? It been a time I was shot and killed and it brought back to life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I've been through a lot. You know, like, the first time I almost got killed is when, like, I went to jail. My little partner had got into it with somebody. And he never tell me about the altercation. And we were sitting in the back, yo, me, him, and my little brother. Because me, him, and my little brother used to rock all the time. We made music together and shit. So some little nigga came up the alleyway and just went to hitting through the fence. Good things he ain't hit nobody, you see what I'm saying? But he was, like, real close. He was, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, 
five feet away, six feet away type shit. He must weren't trying to hit nobody. You see what I'm saying? He was just trying to must have let a nigga know, like, yeah, this is what it is. You see what I'm saying? So that day, that night, you see what I'm saying, I wind up going licking or whatever like that, trying to see if nigga get some more guns, which is all nigga already had like about 13 guns already. It's something else. I really was trying to find something big because we all already had buku handguns. So I'm like, well, nigga gonna need something big. Nigga went licking, nigga couldn't find none. At the time, like me and my mom was like in like a little altercation. She didn't want a nigga to come to the house, man. My brother, we wind up going by my uh, cousin D house, you remember, by his daddy. So we wind up going to sleep and woke up that morning. Well, I woke up before everybody, so I wind up leaving out the house and went like about two, three blocks away from my cousin house. I got the gun out the house. Walked out the house, went back to my brother and I made sure my brother, I'm like, ooh, look what I got or whatever like that. Left it with him and I wound up doing something. And then we met back up in my, uh, my little partner house. So my little partner was in the studio. My little brother was there. I get over there. My little brother playing with a gun. And he made a mistake and shot me in my leg. A uh, 357 revolver. You see what I'm saying? He had shot me in my leg. And all that I remember was waking up in the hospital. And my mom and them saying, uh, boy, you're here for a reason. You're here for a reason. You see what I'm saying? And I'm like, what happened to me? And she was like, boy, you got shot. I'm like, how I get shot? She was like, Kendrick shot. I'm like, what he shot me for what I did to him? She was like, y'all playing with them fucking guns or whatever like that. And I'm like, playing with, I'm still kind of lost. So my baby mama was there too. My mama didn't want to leave. Him. Yeah, I told my baby mama I need to go smoke. I used to do, she got some weed. She was like, yeah, but you don't need to be smoking, you hear me? I'm like, man, what a weed at, you hear me? Take me downstairs. So she take me downstairs. And uh, I went to smoke in the weed. And it's like, everything with the coming, like no cap, like every thought with the coming back to my head, you hear me? I want to tell her, I'm like, ooh, I remember, I remember, I remember. She was like, what, boy, what you talking about? I'm like, I remember, I remember. I had wind up going hit a lick on a gun and I gave it to Kendrick, which they already must have told her, you see what I'm saying? But she looking at me like, boy, you crazy, but I'm really, thoughts really coming back to me and I really could tell you. Yeah, you hear me? And I really could tell you what happened now. I'm telling her or whatever like that. So I wound up telling my mom what really happened because I'm knowing what's going on now. You see what I'm saying? So that's what happened in that little altercation. Mm -hmm. um, what's your definition of PTSD? Describe it for you in your own words. I mean, oh, I mean, I feel I don't really like. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it is what it is with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really got no, no explanation for it. <laughs> you just know that you do have it, and most of us grew up here have it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. feel like it is what it is. Yeah. Do you, what you think the problem is in New Orleans? I mean. Or is it just New Orleans? I mean, I feel like. The problem in New Orleans is like everybody just got to get along, you hear me, to be real. And if we just get along and be a team, we could really be something. Like all that doubting and hating and, man, that shit bad as a motherfucker, you hear me? Like, show love, you know what I'm saying? When it, you know, show love, you hear me? If, it, if you feel like nigga need that love, a nigga deserve that love, you hear me? Give a nigga that love, you know? I always say love and care. Like, show that if you love, you gonna care. Right, right, know? right. That's like, that's all. Facts. Love. That's all. Facts. Do you think that one day, like, people will realize, like, we talked earlier that this fall was a trap, this fall was strategized for young black males to murder each other? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you hear me? Because like, how they, how they like doing things. If you pay attention to how they like set shit up and doing shit, they set shit up for the for that shit to happen. Like like, for it's like jobs. You ain't let nobody get a job because of their background. Like, what if that person and change? You just straight telling that person no. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, or, or like, if they, if they smoke, you see what I'm saying? You doing piss tests, like, come on, man, like, people be needing their little weed. Right. 
or something like that. You hear me? Like rap, right? You know, shit like that. Like they be. And that's my fight. Like I'm, I'm in um, prison reform. I'm fighting with dad. I'm fighting for a lot for y'all. And um, I just think that it's just, it's gonna take everybody coming together for a bigger cause. How do you think? Who, who? Who can start this from your hood? Who can start this from where you from? To say, hey, let's call a truce. Do you see that in the future? Mm, yeah. Yeah. From where you from, are y'all beefing with? Is there a beef or individual mm. beef or whole war beef? I mean, they got their like, individual beefs and all that. In my, in my hood, you see what I'm saying? You know, but like, I don't know, like, but it could. Do you find yourself in beef? I mean, I mean, like, I got an anger problem. Like, I don't be taking nothing, so I feel like, I feel like, yeah, because I ain't, first of all, I feel like I ain't about to let nobody play with me, disrespect me. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, that anger could be your downfall because mm-hmm. I was very angry. Mm-hmm. I used to blank out right. and tear, tear down. Once I got that under control, I saw it then. It was all a trap. Mm-hmm. It was all a trap to keep me down. Right. You know, it's all a trap. The anger is there because you are actually still living in childhood. It's called arrested <clears throat> development. All of us have to go through arrested development. And when I say arrested development, how old do you think I am? About 30 or something. I'm 51. Oh. That's arrested development. But I'm, I'm good with it. We, 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 we not growing. Right. It took me a long time to actually grow. Mm-hmm. I was childish i was stuck at what fucked me up mm. i was stuck and i was angry and i lived my life and they were it's so childish you i was it wasn't childish i was it's called arrested development and i want you to look at read about that it's called arrested development mm. most of us have it and it keeps you kind of amateur scared to take leaps get scared to get out your comfort zone That's all. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Like, we talking to you coming from, like, honest, like, you could change. Mm-hmm. You could be up there making millions of dollars. You know, when I was talking to you all about the NFTs and stuff like that, like, mm-hmm. I'm coming to the hood. I want to teach y'all. Because I came from the hood. 
Right. I was a fucking genius in the hood. It's millions of genius in the hood. Yeah. Teach you how to um, get the credit together. You know what I'm saying? Teach you how to uh, create a, a um, resume so you can get that good job. That you, want. you know what I'm saying? Don't think that you can't get it. You just got to know how to be consistent to get it. Right, right, right. You know right, what I'm right. saying? You got to have all the tools to make it happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We have the tools to make those things happen. You know, because we done experienced it. We done went through it. I done went through it. You know. He was home. I was homeless. You know, so I fought way to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Right. Brown, I'm able to tell my story. From, you know, I was in the streets like that. You know, and I dealt with motherfuckers that didn't want to see me succeed. You know, even on 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 family members at times. You know, mm-hmm. I had to deal with about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not in the streets enough, you know what I'm saying? So I had to battle with that, trying to impress others. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I came to a point in my life where when I got locked up, I'm like, well, I'm 18 now. Uh, no, I wasn't 18 at the time. I think I was like 17. I said, well, this is going to be my last time I'm going to prison. I mean, I go behind these bars because if I go behind these bars again, it might be my last time I'm seeing daylight. I might yeah. have to get some years. So I made that decision to change yeah. you know, who I was as a person. I ain't never been to jail since. Right. You know, because I, I, I accepted, you know, my responsibility as a man and looked at myself in the mirror and said, look, either I'm going to change my ways or I'm going to be dead or I'm going to be behind somebody's ball. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to take heed to that voice that's sitting on your shoulder and you're talking to you. Like, look, don't do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not for you. Don't do that. Sometimes you got to listen. God talks to us all the time. Sometimes we don't listen. Right. Some people get lucky enough to listen. You know, I done talked to a lot of young cats that they didn't listen. Mm-hmm. And now they're doing 20, 15 years in prison and they did. Because they ain't listened to that voice. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell them, look, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to go that way. Right. You ain't got to walk that light. You know what I'm saying? If, if your environment ain't what you want it to be, then what? What about that environment? And we can ain't show nobody you. stopping you from move into the next city or move into somewhere else safe, mm-hmm. you stopping yourself. Because we, we right you know here to man? show you. Ain't like, nobody stopping right me from mm-hmm. getting out the streets. I had to stop myself. Right. You know, I wanted more. So I was able to achieve more. I ain't mm-hmm. going to some fancy college. I ain't got a GED. Mm-hmm. Everything I learned, I taught myself. Computer shit. This setup. Branding. Driving nice vehicles, living in a nice home. You know what I'm saying? Me and my wife as a team, we, we made that happen. You know what I'm saying? I had to be a man to step up and make that happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I helped take her baby when they was little baby. I've been in their life. Now they 20. Mm-hmm. I've been in their life since then. He was young. I was young. I was young. I was in my own the bench, living mm-hmm. in Bench Park, in a park on benches. You know, so. I had enough money. Get out 
you can right. get out you know what I'm whatever you, you in. You, you just need to know the right people. Mm -hmm. You are a billionaire. You're a millionaire. You're a great person. You're a grown man. You're a man. Right. You're a respectable dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? You have morals. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of they don't they don't tell us this. Mm -hmm. They didn't tell us this back then. They didn't have nobody to speak up and give a positive image and positive feedback. You're a great dude. Tell her, you hear me? Just be patient, it's coming. And just, you know what I'm saying? Be patient, it's coming. Your life gonna be way better than it is now. You hear me? And that's what I tell her. You see what I'm saying? And I've been saying that. You see what I'm saying? Because I know what's up with me. You hear me? At the end of the day, I know what's up with me. You hear me? Like, though, man, it's a lot I gotta see. But I ain't gonna do it here. You see what I'm saying? Cause I'm getting emotional. Say it. But I'm, I'm gonna just leave it there. Say it. I'm gonna leave it there, you hear me? Because like, my life is a movie. Why did you decide to do that to, to this video today? Uh, because, well, my mom, I was at the parade with my daughter. She was much in the day, and she met. And my mom was there, she was like, oh, I saw Donna. I'm like, man, what you said, boy? She was like, uh, matter of fact, he just called me. She was like, he got his number, you hear me? So I got that boy number from her, and I called him. And he was like, uh, what's up, nigga? I'm like, what was in with it? He was like, oh, you still be rapping? I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I'm still doing that. He was like, man, I need you to pull up and uh, do an interview, dog. You hear me? I'm like, you already know I'm pulling up. Just send me a little. You hear me? So, He's someone in Louis and I'm here. Yeah. And what would you tell people who doubt VWF? Who says VWF ain't gonna be shit? What do you what would you tell them about VWF media? I mean, I'm gonna tell them, you hear me. They can think what they want, feel how you feel, you hear me. At the end of the day, we're gonna show you what it's in for. I'm gonna put it like that. We gonna show you what it's in for. My social media, Instagram, you can find me at Speedy, S P E E D Y underscore Dak, D A T underscore nigga, N I G G E. You hear me? And that's why I really be at. And you can find me on all platforms, Speedy, you hear me? S P E E D Y. You see what I'm saying? And I'm popping up. While we're chasing down my dreams, people was looking at me strange. Young nigga with a handful of CDs trying to gain. Dollar after dollar, nobody tried to holler. People in the hood, they ain't even want to be bothered, y'all. They thought it was a game. They thought that I was playing, and nobody reached their arm when I was looking for a hand. That would make me jack shit, run down whack shit. Sitting on side of your house with that man in black shit. Catching all kind of cases on some damn mech shit. 25 pick eviction, they was trying to flat me. And close to one city that was with me, left me all fake shit. They didn't think that I could make it out. Full of fact, bitch, while I'm back on the scene. <laughs> looking all clean, hawking around the city. Side five, triple B, Z games with they playing, cause they sleeping on a nigga. Going to hunting, I'ma make it, call me speed. On these niggas. 16, I used to record off an MP3. I let Chopper hear the songs. He ain't like it. Said this week he see, keep on writing. Sooner later you get better. Had to open up my mind. Started thinking even clever. All day in the streets, hustling and trying to eat. My people be saying I'm lying when I think I'm with a feet. Or wasting time in the deep. When I say I'm in, mm, that's what it be. Look, they don't think I can make it. Jail time fighting cases really had made me stronger. Flex on, I'm home now. It's hard seeing people doubting you. They be close to you. Saying you ain't gonna make it out the hood is impossible. I hold up the bitch. 
it ain't nothing but a obstacle and I'ma make it through When I do, double dropping you, anything is possible Stop what, stopping who? Middle finger to them bitches, say I never make it through